Hey, I can see my house. All the salt water on our planet came from you crying because you don't have a girlfriend.
I'm here. I'm here, I'm clear, get used to it. Frick sneezing regular. All my homies gay sneeze. You guys ready to beat Harvester together? Once and for all? Put an end to the harvest? I'm excited. I'm a little pumped today. I'll tell you why. Eventually. Ugh. <sighs> We'll get to why I'm a little pumped, a little excited, feeling a little good about myself. I'll tell you in a bit. But hey, check this out. Um, get out of here, homies. Uh, D3 Pub dropped a trailer for EDF6. Phrase that everything looks real uh, modern day Russian. Yeah. Look, they got fucking Plesioth now. <laughs> Plesioth will never come back to Monster Hunter, so they put him in EDF. Let's go. I love my man's Plesia. They're putting dragons in this. And trucks. Show me Wing Diver. Oh, wait, there it was. Let me see the Wing Diver again. Got a release date. Yeah, we got a release date, but I I don't believe there's going to be a simultaneous PC release, which is really upsetting. But beggars can't be choosers.
Hey, look at this. It's April 30th. You are not being the patriot that George Washington knew you could be. Are you? Fuck it. All my homies love copyright. All my homies love getting our VOD muted. Fuck it. Bought this vinyl since I played it. Good. That's awesome. I might buy it myself. Assuming it's still available.
Return to heaven, warrior of light. amplification device. Do you think it's working? You know, I did, um... I brought this up before last time I showed this video, like in case people thought it was like a joke or something. If you look through the entirety of their um, <laughs> their YouTube, it it's all just glass making stuff. It's not a joke. They're just doing weird glass shit. <laughs> like a bunch of stuff on their heads and faces. Look, here's another one. She's being amplified. What is she in Seattle? Why would you want to amplify the senses you get from Seattle? Oh, never mind. Is that is that Britbong land? Oh, is Montan live again? Let's see if she's looking at pictures of food again. Oh, no food today. Oh wait, she is looking at pictures of food. I don't know who that is. Space. Settle down. Um, uh, did someone say Peko's boobs are huge? They're not huge, but they're moderately large. I've seen them. She shows them to me all the time. I just say... Kitten! 
And then she shows me her big old gazongas. Yeah, I go. Kitten. Daddy want booby. Kitten. Navajo Joe looking ass up, uh, bruh. You wish you looked like Burt Reynolds. Zorch Productions. <laughs> Get out of my face. So, which save are we at? Hmm. Fuck Hank? Or am I supposed to be at the plant? I think I'm supposed to be at the plant. Yeah, I'll oh, see you guys remember. Control F4, left mouse button. Okay, let me load the other disc as well. Control F4. <laughs> what did this original box set look like? Having three fucking discs for it. Let me see this thing. Oh, it looked pretty big. Actually, well, I'm not really seeing it. Todd McFarlane Limited Edition Box Set Metallica Harvesters of Sorrow. That's not what I want. Why did we pick this image for our background? I've already forgotten. Big Steppy. Once beautiful fountain needs a gardener. The weeds have taken over. So I was gonna go in here and then uh, take a sip. I'm actually gonna take all of these. I'll leave some for later. Big Sippy as an adult. I haven't drank in two months, except for that one weekend we had for the finale of Elden Ring. <sighs> yeah, I've made good progress. It's part of the reason why I'm a little excited. In less than two months, actually. I started on March 6th, I guess. I've lost 30 pounds. Like, I've been, I've been taking it pretty seriously. I've never lost that much weight before, intentionally. Yeah, it's pretty exciting.
Oh. It's a peg puzzle. You guys should be good at this. Oh boy. Should probably not be in the way of these. There we go. Oh! seems have to put the toga on this then, probably. <laughs> Why am I not covered in acid anymore? I thought it was the toga that... Oh, shit! Oh! Oh, this isn't necessary. This is just good stuff. Claw marks rake the length of this pipe, floor to ceiling. Cool. I hope I'm not dying from the acid now that I don't have the toga on. I'm definitely putting this bad boy on. Ugh. I think that was it. Oh. I can't take the toga back. Well. Here I go living. Togus Scythe. Be gone, you foul beast! Okay, see, that's a puzzle. That's a puzzle. And I know the answer. I know the answer to this puzzle. <laughs> I know. I know, yeah, I know the answer to this fucking puzzle. Eat shit and fucking die. That's what I thought. That's what I thought. Wait, that's Range Rider whenever he gave me the autograph. Hey, you eat the gumball and feel better. Alright, I didn't consent to that, but whatever. Someone scratched. Give me that shit. Well, that didn't work. That baseball bat? Why are there so many weapons? You, you don't need all of them. What are the stats on the weapons? What's the metal weapons in a harvester, huh?
picture of Morris Footsucker McGee in the cradle? What is that? What are you talking about? Maybe it can get some out of town stations. Why does this song keep playing? <laughs> Healthy am is that as healthy as I get? Let's eat another one. Yeah, my cats have been licking my feet a lot lately. I just let them. Feels good, man. lamp lifted from church they found stripped and up on blocks it depicts the expulsion of the sacred dime of paradise All right. they feed off my autophagy where'd you learn that word did I say that recently in a stream I experienced autophagy last night that fucking starving because I really wanted to get uh, to a certain weight goal and I, I was only like two or three pounds off so I went to bed last night and didn't eat anything it was worth it and today I've had nothing but a little broccoli salad and uh, two boiled eggs and a mango but I'm gonna eat dinner today I've earned Indians today. I'm gonna have some veggies over rice, probably. I hope I don't die here. Should probably save it. Toga Scythe run, Toga Scythe run. water. I've done this puzzle a thousand times in like 40 other video games. This motherfucker wants some meat. Or some money. <laughs> Ignore my laugh. Out of order. Olive toned slime runs down these bowls. Obviously, the product of a vegetarian with the runs. <laughs> That's a good one, Steve. Huh? Ugh, God, I hate that sound. Someone must have mistaken this for the toilet. <laughs> Did you guys see my banger tweet the other day? <laughs> All those Guilty Gear fellatio followers weren't expecting this banger. What did I say? Something about toilets. Oh. <laughs> and this is where we shit! <laughs> That's a good one. That's a good one. That's a that's a banger right there. That's a good one. I tell you, what? Am I gonna fucking die in here? Cans of Laxo Veg. Yeah, that's my brand. The roaches are crazed by the succulent riches contained herein. Really fucking hate that 
Ugh. These are empty. Oh, weed killer. This pesticide contains DDT. Biggest dickus. What's in here? Lodge version of an ancient Roman vomitorium. Good to see that Steve is a kidder still. Never loses his sense of humor. There's like something... Oh, it's just dripping. There's something I can use on this here toilet. I hate the way rednecks say toilet. Grew up with neighbors who said that. Toilet? We we on the toilet? Oh, that's why we have two pieces of meat. Because you actually need two to survive. Let's get the fuck out of here! Yeah, if you only took one, you'd probably be fucked. <laughs> you know what would be metal? Imagine being in that situation, and you know the only way to get past is if you threw meat in there, and you had to like bite and chew and gnaw your own finger off and spit it in the water. That'd be fucking sweet. Or just chop it off with the knife or the scythe that you have on you. Either one. Why are you saying it would be a real shame if someone missed something in that room? Hmm? What are you saying? Are you being a silly billy? What am I missing in this room? What'd that say? This filthy sink is littered with dead babies? <laughs> you can actually see a baby head in there! <laughs> My friend asked me like two days ago what I would do if I had like a, a severely like mentally deficient child, like a deformed mentally deficient child. And like I was thinking about it real seriously. Like, you know, what would I, you know, how would I take, because, you know, of course I wouldn't do anything weird. I'd be like, that's my kid, whatever. You know, if I chose to have a kid. But for some reason when he said that, the only thing that kept playing over and over in my head was a scene from 300 in the beginning where the Spartans are on the cliff and they're throwing the deformed babies into the pit. And I was just seeing myself standing there and I was like, I had a real moral dilemma with myself. I was like, man, would, would you not? I don't know. I'd say I wouldn't do it. But I've never been in that situation. Someone said I missed something in here. You're freaking lying. You're a freaking lying bozo. I'm banning you. You stink fuck bozo tits. What if I put dollar bills in the payphone? Okay. <laughs> That's on you, chat. You're stupid for suggesting that. Who's a deficient child now? <laughs> Who do you think? I'm looking right at you. Ah, uh, well earned Sipperuni.
More like Bumbleition B. Always fumbling and bumbling it up. More like Schnumbleition Schnooks. Was there anything in here? I should put something in the fire. Like five dollars. Oh man. Oh man. Damn it. Okay. Oh man. Just take the five dollars, Steve. Jeez. Don't be stingy. It's a gift. Hey Demo, all I've been doing is inhaling Hololive. Can you recommend me an anime that isn't boring? For someone of your tastes? Mars of Destruction. Yeah. That's for you, kiddo. Fuck is hollow alive. Yeah, for you, kiddo. I think you'd really like this cool hip show, uh, Himoto Umaru. It's amazing. I'm gonna go pray to the porcelain throne. Fresh food for our husbands just to drive. <sighs> I feel refreshed. Let's kill this plant. Uh, I can't, t Keanu, I can't tell if you're fucking with me or not with what you just said, but I'm gonna be honest, I actually wasn't expecting, uh, Bocano Pico <laughs> when I watched it. Like, when I actually sat, I did sit down and watch an episode and a half of Bocano Pico, and it was like, it was actually like, you know, everyone's like, oh, whoa, dude, don't watch it. It's so fricked up. Oh my god, it's gonna like scar you. But I was actually really uncomfortable watching it. I'm pretty sure I brought this up before. It was like, <laughs> It's like one of the gayest things I've ever seen. And it was also really creepy as well. It was like very strange and weird. <laughs> yes, it made me feel things I didn't want to feel. There, there's just I remember in particular the ice cream scene where he's like eating ice cream in the car, this little boy. And the guy's driving, and he's like, Oh my god, he's so fucking hot. Having this inner monologue. And then he's like, drips ice cream on his crotch or something. And the guy is like, yeah, I guess we'll have to take care of that before it sets in and stains. And it was just so fucking weird. I, I wasn't feeling it, man. I really wasn't feeling it. I didn't expect it to have that effect on me, because I've seen so much weird and fucked up shit. But it was like, it still, it still hit. It hit different. Damn it. Oh, I can't use it on the fountain? I'm gonna get close enough to the plant? 
It kind of did filter me, yeah. I didn't expect it to be so bad, but it was bad. I thought I was going to have to put it in the fountain because it's, you know, they'll get in the water and kill it. Plant dead. No, I don't think we should watch Poke and Pico together on stream. That'd be another Jack and Jill incident. Huh. Same at the gate? Hold. Oh. I like point-and-click games. They're fun. I, t I tell you no, I've gone true full boomer mode. I look like a hundred bucks. sure what I'm supposed to do. Does it want five dollars? Damn it. Weed killer. Damn it. Well that didn't work. Okay. pixel hunt? I'll find it. This. No? This. This? It's probably on me. Is this really the uh, filter for <laughs> for point and click games? Uh, does it come down to pixel hunting? Genuinely? This is This is the skill ceiling for point and clickers? That's our word. Did I get something there? No. We prefer... Oh! Bro, what the fuck? Key? Oh, I do see it. Okay. I dig it. Yeah. What's up, my pointed clickers? I have a key. How's the new computer? <laughs> You're looking at it, baby. How's it look? Hold on, let me do something graphically intensive. Couldn't do that before. What? I don't remember, um... I don't remember anything being locked and needing a key. Oh, I think there was inside the room, actually. <laughs> Slaps out of PC. This baby can do a whole 26 frames. Wasn't there... I needed a key for something in here, maybe? Oh. On the bear. Damn it. Not the bear. Why did I think there was something in here? Oh, yeah, you're right, the freezer's... The freezer's locked. Yeah, let's go do that. You're so smart, boy. I'm gonna give you a promotion. 
There you go. You've been promoted. Nah, I don't think this is where I'm supposed to use this. But I'll do it anyway. Okay. Okay. Yeah, it didn't seem right. Is there anything else here? It was like locked. Filthy sink is littered with dead babies. I'm gonna be honest with you. I'm drawing a blank here. I don't remember anything being locked. Maybe in here? No. Not in here. not do Boku no Pico references in here because the reason why Boku no Pico references in here are worse than they are in other places on the internet is because I know you guys are actually referencing something that you've fucking seen before it's not just some idiot redditor going ooh Boku no Pico tee hee that's the source for this anime gay and funny I know fucking most of you have seen it like I have I know you've sat down and watched it. That makes it weird. There's not a door in the fountain room, but there is a pod. I was gonna use it on the pod, but I don't want you guys to call me stupid. Hey, the beers have been restocked. Yeah, and when it comes down to it, is there anything gayer than seeing JoJo? If we're being honest. I'm just kidding. I, I actually love JoJo. Okay. Damn it. <laughs> what the fuck? Well, <laughs> that don't make no goddamn sense. Grab the rope, you hear a scream. Quickly, you climb up to investigate. It's tied to Stephanie's rumpus. Uh. Art curator? I am a piece of art. Welcome to the Harvest Moon Art Gallery, sir. I'm the curator of this place. So delighted you could come. I expect it'll be an engaging experience. Can't wait to see what passes for art in this hellhole. That's always the dilemma, sir. What are the boundaries of art? Only you can answer that, and only for yourself. Lovely works, pastoral scenes, noble sculptures. These are easy on the eye and mind. But when confronted with a work of hideous form, you are forced to deal with it, even if only to dismiss it as trash. Sadly, the most extreme works are the hardest to dismiss. Protesqueries amid works of beauty are necessary. That should be taken for granted. Nevertheless, it's important that each individual determine his own sense of aesthetics. 
for that reason, I give you permission to obliterate that which forces you to linger too long in the gallery. I'm just passing through. If only it were that simple. all about these B-17s. There's a door. Strange group of guys. Pretty sure... Yeah, the door's what I need the key for, I'm assuming. Is this gonna eventually, uh, come back to the... Oh, God. Hey, you know what I just realized? Okay, number one, that looks like the artwork that comes to life in Beetlejuice, a Tim Burton movie. And I'm wearing what Alec Baldwin's wearing in the Beetlejuice movie. This is a Beetlejuice game. That is literally the piece of art that comes to life, one of them, at the end of Beetlejuice. Jesus, man, how many fucking places am I gonna go? This is where I came in. Okay, that's what I thought. I assumed it went in a loop. Alright then, I'm out of here. Beetlejuice scared the crud out of me when I was a kid. Especially all the practicals. I got real scared of them. I love that movie, though. Finally, somewhere safe. Can I help you? That's a general a store lady. This is a library, not a brothel. <laughs> you don't Could have fooled me, old I bag! I hope to believe that she was brought here. Do you know anything about that? I'm afraid not. I tend to stay out of lodge affairs. I'm only in charge of the library, my good fellow. Well, if she is here, she's not been invited as a member. There are no female members of the order. 
to be sure, one or two have qualified throughout our history, but they're generally not of our caliber. I doubt there are any females in this building, at least none that are extant. But you're a woman. I'm not a member. Women are kept here for the services they are able to render. Just as some jobs are beneath men, so too can certain services only be supplied by women. If she is here, you'll find you her can't on the say that anymore. Floor, which you'll have difficulty what the finding hell? without my help. And get me in trouble. you want something in return. I'll give you a clue as to how to get to the third floor, but only if you'll retrieve an overdue book from one of our charter members, a Mr. Kane. Since he is so highly regarded among the Order, I'm loath to approach him on such an embarrassing matter. Therefore, bring me the book and I'll help you. How will I know which book? Oh, you'll know, you'll know when He's you not an see avid it. reader. Alright. A room filled with unread books. Killer. Hey. <laughs> I might need that clue though to get to the third floor. I'll come back. There's Bard from the other side. This is the worst locked. Very helpful. Very cool. And what is this? She. What am I looking at here? It's just like a nice waiting room. I'm supposed to pixel hunt in here as well. I don't think there's anything in here. Good music. skill issue. Bottom right didn't show an exit, you fucking bitch. You piece of shit, bitch fuck. Oh, you're right. Excuse me, you can't come in right now. I just mopped the floor. Yes, I can. Hey, buddy, give me a break, will you? Keep up the floor. Dramas involving the brutal murder of men by ungrateful suffragettes <laughs> are popular with lodge members. Yeah, I get that. I mean, I can just walk out. You're not gonna stop me. What are you gonna do? Fight me? You're a Janny. You think just because I'm a janitor I got no pride? That's all I got to do all day is clean up after you rich bastards? Big eyes before you get hurt! All right, buddy. You ask for it. <gasps> what the fuck? He got a nail gun! Hey, oh. <laughs> it won't let me load. <laughs> 
I don't wanna, I've already taken too much damage. I'm gonna do this different. Kill me. I guess it's realistic. <laughs> Okay, I'm actually dying. Oh, that's good. Alrighty then, let me just load up. I didn't want to take any damage. But I guess it really wouldn't have mattered since he did like nothing. Alright, check this out. You think just... Alright, buddy. You act for it. Grabbing the nail gun, you add it to your inventory, hoping it will come in handy. Eh, it probably won't. Based on what I've seen. Look, Steve doesn't even give a hoot. Not a care in the world. Not a thought in that big empty head. I like killing. me. Why does Steve walk like that even with the nail gun? Rook-shaped ash Oh! I found a shotgun shell. I found a shotgun shell. Master. That reminds me, I started watching uh, this Netflix show called Queen's Gambit. It's like about some lady in the 60s or 50s or something. It was a really good chess master and beat all the dudes. It's pretty good so far, and it's got Anya Taylor Joy in it, who I like a lot. But my biggest issue with it so far is that, uh... They don't ever show the chess that's happening <laughs> in that show. Like, I thought... I started watching it because I thought it was going to be, like, a show for people who like chess. I like chess. I'm not good at it, but... I like to... I like to play it and watch it. And, like, they never show it from, like, an aerial view so you can see what's happening. It's, like, always <laughs> barely ever shown. Hey, what's up, my guy? An intellectual arena? Let me fight this dude. I am the chess master. Any initiate who wishes to pass this way must do so over my dead body. Being a civilized man, I offer my opponents a choice. Solve my problem or fight me to the death. Do you know how to play chess? Yes. In that case, mate group and you may pass. All I gotta do is mate this guy? Uh, I thought I had to play him in a full-ass game. Who am I? Oh my god, it's so laggy. All I have to do is mate this guy? Um, alright. Uh, go here. Chess is a civilized game. How sad that we must now resort to a less civilized form. 
of content. I think I fucked up. I wasn't paying attention. What the fuck? Oh. Hey, man! <laughs> in the head. What's <laughs> First place trophy in the Cabinet Makers Union Chapter 501 Special Chess Olympics for differently abled spinal injury victims. Cool. These chairs were a gift from Bobby Fisher when he forgot to lock his back door one night. Trophy, trophy, trophy. Just came here for a key, I guess. Mr. Congeniality at the All-American Chess Playoffs and Swimsuit Competition. Damn, this guy was a big deal, and I just split his head in half. Mm. Sucks to suck. Oh, I guess I should save. Wait a minute. Oh, that thing beat the shit out of me, dude. I don't understand why I did the chest thing. right here. Y'all can't read. Alright, hey, what's up? Uh, Hi. In that case. So I just need to move the fucking thing. Oh yeah, that wasn't the right pick. I'm an idiot. How am I supposed to check this guy? Can't go there. Oh, well, this is check if I put it right here. Right? Not quite. Well, I mean, at least then. No, that's not check at all. This isn't check either. You can just take me there. Well, I, I don't know if the game's gonna let me move again after I move once. 
Is that allowed? Because <laughs> it, it didn't last time. Well, if it's one move, then I don't know. I'll just go here. Didn't I go here? If I go here, is he going to try and take my, my, my knight? Then I can just take him or something. I guess I'll just go here then. Oh, I actually do get to keep moving. Interesting. can just go here. Check, you big old buffoon. What? <laughs> he just dies anyway. He don't have a choice. <laughs> we the Grandmaster now, baby. <laughs> Give me the key. <laughs> Just kind of nutty. Just get the fuck out of here. That's pretty cool. I'm just gonna reload my game now. I know it's safe. <laughs> yeah, that was me. It's me after my final transformation. I'm gonna lose 30 more pounds. I'm gonna try the scythe. I feel like it's a better, better option. Hey, what's up? I'm surprised I made my way back. <laughs> oh shit. 
chat, the NFL draft is going on. It's round four tonight. You excited? Yeah, the Minnesota Vikings got a new left guard. It's pretty exciting. We needed one, to be honest. Yeah, really. I'm not kidding you. I'm not just saying this for kids for funsies. I'm serious. It happened. We got a new guard. So anyway, the Minnesota Vikings have also got a new head coach this coming season and a new offensive coordinator, so that's kind of exciting too. Or actually, uh, no, we have a new manager. So we're under a whole new team now, a whole new kit and caboodle. It's going to be a rough first season with this new management, but, you know, I have high hopes for us. We kind of needed it. Rest in peace, Mike Zimmer. Ah, you've returned the book, I see. Thank you, young man. Feel free to look around the library for anything that interests you. You told me you'd help me get to the third floor. Ah, yes. You'll need a special key, which is in the keeping of our resident chess master. Here is your clue. Along with the positions of his pieces, <laughs> the chess master holds the key to the third level, always in his thoughts. That's the clue? The best that I can give you. <laughs> I'll write it down for you so that you won't forget. If you don't find this key, I'm afraid you'll never make it any further. Good luck. I never went up this way. killed him instantly. <laughs> Photographs of vaguely familiar strangers. Stranger danger. Let me see. Oh yes, the new initiate. I'm the lodge membership director. What can I do for you? Looking for a girl named Stefani. The Lodge is a traditional place, young man, and by tradition, when a young man is courting a young woman, he wins for her a Cupid doll at the fair. There is no fair within the Lodge. However, I have seen a thing which resembles a Cupid somewhere on this floor. Seek it out, slay it, and return here with a prize if you would seek your lady. What the goddamn fucking hell are you talking about, you crazy old bastard? Gotta kill a Cupid? Water horse? Mythical creature? Wait a minute, I wasn't done with you. Oh, that's the only way out. Alright. Rusty rug nailed to the wall. 
Oh, it's a Kelpie. What the fuck is a Kewpie? Mayonnaise? Oh, Jesus fucking Christ. Oh, man, I wish I wouldn't have looked this up. What the fuck is going on? This is what I'm looking for? Alright, time to kill a baby. I ain't going all the way back down to the baby heads in the sink, man. You crazy? I'm on the second floor, baby. Safe as can be. You guys see me beat that guy's ass in chess? That was awesome. Beautiful grand piano. Ornate vine encased pillar. Oh. Pixel hunt, pixel hunt. see something? You're not about to tell me to use a fucking key on this thing. That would be silly. I don't think the key works. What am I supposed to be looking at here? You guys see anything? I'm pixel hunting. Yeah, that it that is a dolphin. That is true. Let's try this. Well, that didn't. Well, that. Well, that didn't. Oh, 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 oh. Okay. Well, I guess we do have. Uh... Oh, our weed killer's gone. Right side of the dolphin looks like it has something on the wall. spinning gear out of the cog and I was like well it's just the exit sign no I've been all over the fin fifth brick from the right is removed you're a liar you're a goddamn liar I don't think there was anything in the other one. I think this one just had something. Why do they give you so many weapons? This one look like it's got anything on it? This sucks. This is the worst part of the game so far because I don't know if I'm leaving anything behind when I do this. You don't see nothing, you fucking liar. Don't lie to me. You're ticking me off. 
after they chat. Alright, so we've done... What about this one? There we go. So we got a flail. This one looks like it doesn't have anything either. Mayhaps it do, though. This room's probably completely optional. I just came in here for the flail. If I had to guess. Flail, I was thinking of. <clears throat> That's it. Came in here for a flail, I guess. Sam and the statue. Rough hewn statue of a dolphin. in here? Oh, that's right. Alright, well, let's go kill a Cupid doll. Oh, wait, that's where I came from. Is this the right place? Yeah. Alright, so now we go back this way, go in here. This should be the janitor's place. Killed that poor, hard-working janitor for no fucking reason. Cause I was stepping on his floors and he said, I'm sick of cleaning up after you rich folk. Key time. Well, that didn't work. What? Stupid bitch almost made me not click again. Chainsaw you added to your inventory, hoping it will come in handy. You also find a Cupid doll and something that looks like a key. Epic. Happy birthday. Let's play Impale the Poor Dumb Hapless Animal with the Lawn Darts. Tank of happy gas is plumb empty. Brown stains on the outside of this jack of the box suggest that you don't want what's packed inside to come spraying out. Perhaps a clue as to why this birthday wasn't very happy. Blood splattered movie screen. Where are you back in the art gallery again? Very funny, Steve. Monkey boy goes ape shit with the chainsaw. <laughs> Playing the, the light holiday children's classic. Monkey boy goes ape shit with the chainsaw. That's me. I'm monkey boy now. Don't say this cake is half eaten. Say this cake is splattered with brain matter. Either way, don't eat it. Nothing else? You good to go? Alright. I like the site the most so far. Why are there so many weapons in this game? <laughs> like, seriously, there's so many weapons in this game. What's the meta? I'm thinking it's the site. The scythe has been amazing so far. Okay, I got a small key, therefore, uh... Where do I come from? This way? Okay, I have the Cupid doll, I gotta go give that to that dude. Cupid key, Cupid doll. Where 
where is this going to take me? Scythe and shotgun is my harvest for build. Yeah, I'll save here. I don't know if I should go in this door first or if I should go to the... Pope fuck. I should go in here yet. Maybe I'll go to the Pope first. Show me my wife. Fine work. You're obviously an earnest young man. Hi. You're in luck. A quick check of my records indicates that, indeed, a woman was brought into the lodge, although I neglected to get her name. Since females are generally not considered for initiation, the young lady is currently being detained on the third floor in the Chapel of Love. Seek her there. <sighs> Seek her there. And don't forget to bring her her prize. Little things mean so much. What? Oh, I didn't actually give it. That's it. Okay. Well, that's interesting. Please hold still. Alright. Bye. Wait, maybe there was something in there. Well, not him. Source of Illumination. I'm <laughs> decorative swords adorn the walls. I'm surprised it doesn't let me take the fucking swords. So many weapons in this game. Alright. Let's put back on our scythe. That's my favorite. This one I got from a secret room, so it must be powerful. Decorative don't mean you can't kill nobody with it. And yes, to answer your question, I am glad God made me a country boy. That's how my relatives up north think I talk. When I'm just talking normally. They're like, Oh my god, you've got such a southern accent. Oh yeah, you sound like one of them country boys. Took a fucking wooden plank? <clears throat> if you say so. I'm surprised they don't give me the hammer. Grab a sandwich out of the lunchbox and put it away for later. That's good. Non functional prop kitchen. Why am I taking planks? So 
spiral staircase leading nowhere. Alright, let me save again. Safe again. One more time. Just gonna walk this way and a cutscene's probably gonna happen. What the fuck? <laughs> well... <laughs> I'm in the pillar. Oh, looks like I can go this way. <laughs> Alright, I guess I'll take another fucking plank. Chill out. I'm not telling you to walk forward that much. Sure has been rigged to break to pieces during a hilarious third act rape scene of the Lodge Rep's musical hit, Mr. Smith's Trip to Turkey. It's my favorite scene. After being abducted by aliens and subjected to unspeakable degradations, this windmill is now only suitable for a life of theater. Prop street lamp circa 1890, evocative of a time when America, when America was free of commie concepts like women's rights. <laughs> I'm delighted by this game. Is that it? He's not chill. I have to shoot him. Oh, now I'm hurt. I mean, I was gonna load anyway. Let's go back to the safest room I've ever been in in my entire life. The game was just busted. Not the best place I've ever saved before. I have a sandwich, right? Uh, I might want to eat that. Eh, I'll save it for later. Complimentary coffin nails. Have another, dear. Tastes great. Standard Type C fire extinguisher. Did that thing I just killed drop anything? Well, oh. lighter fluid. I'll take it. from here? More than likely, it seems. You want five dollars? Well, that didn't work. Never mind. What am I going to use lighter fluid?
put five dollars in the cancer station and you sub the demolition team. Hey, you shut your mouth. Well, that didn't work. There's too many places to think about. Where would, where would I need lighter fluid? Do I have anything that needs lighter fluid? Just making sure this doesn't like refill this or something. Well, that didn't work. All right. Hmm. I have wooden planks, which I guess I could make a fire with. Yeah, I've combined a few different things in this game. Burn the dolphin vines? That doesn't make any sense. Can you guys think of anywhere I needed to light on fire or use lighter fluid? How am I gonna burn the dolphins? I just got lighter fluid. Oh, I guess maybe the library. Let's try it out. Look, I'm a Nazi. Burn the books. Okay. Damn it. okay. Well, that didn't work. Fluid on a candle, like I'm some autistic child. Oh man. Well, that didn't work. No. Hmm. Guess we'll try it on these stupid dolphins. I don't see this working. Oh man, oh, oh, okay. well, that didn't work. Well, that didn't work. Maybe you're right about the cancer station. I do want that cancer. $200 worth of it as well. Think about it. There's another thing to do behind the curtain. Feed the dolphin a sandwich. See, this is why you guys should never play these big brain games. Leave it to me, okay? Trust me, I got this. You just sit there and watch. Spiral staircase leading to nowhere. So there was something else to do. Behind the curtain. First of all, I'm gonna go in here. Two hundred dollars for the cancer machine. Well, that didn't work. Oh, okay. well, that didn't work. Damn, I wanted the big tumor. Oh, is it more light switches again? I fucking hate. Oh, these are masks. Operate the sad mask or the happy mask. Uh. <laughs> All right. I'm pretty smart. What? What can I say? Why did that work? What did I... <laughs> what did I do? Well, 
I solved it. Blood red water swirls behind the glass because, you know, Harvester. It's gotta, it's gotta be like gunk and blood and gook everywhere. Nothing? That's it? Oh, the loop's gotta start again. You know, I would tell you guys to stop telling me to save, but you're right, I should save here. You guys remember my pitch for the game ACAB? All cops are big. <laughs> I still really want to make that game. <laughs> Hey, this looks like Stephanie's clothes. She's naked. You know, with this fancy new computer, I should just crack open Unity and make it and sell it for two bucks. You guys would eat it up. Oh, I'd probably learn Unity in a second. I'm good with learning new programs. Fuse box, fuse box. Cut off valve. Alright. This one's going a little haywire. Good usable pipe. Okay. Well, that didn't work. Use pipe on broken pipe. Damn it. Well, that didn't. Well, that didn't oh, work. Oh man. Really didn't work. Well, that didn't work. Okay. Dead battery. Cool stick. Well, that didn't work. Well, that didn't work. I was just making sure. Uh, not my problem. I'm not a fucking janitor. No, don't go, Steve! Cool. Oh man. Oh man. Well, that didn't work. Well, that didn't work. More weapons for me. <laughs> I'm no handyman. Not my problem. Doors locked. Another fuse box. Curved pipe. Oh, I see. Steve, you need to chill, bro. And then this is another curved pipe. This should be pretty simple. I play Factorio. Uh, alright. So, what are we trying to do here? There, it should be fine now, right? Maybe now I can use the pipe. Well, that didn't work. Okay. Mm, wrench on the broken pipe to take it off. are big. Oh god. I don't think the timer ran out. There's nothing in here that I missed to pick up, right? I'm gonna save here. Let me in. Oh, it wasn't
Was it rising? All right then. Are you sure the pressure gauge? Oh, looks like the pressure gauge is fucking rising. All right, I'll take that. I take the wrench. All right, and then I take the curve pipe. Well, that didn't work. Damn it. Should be it. Oh yeah, it's definitely moving up. Okay, so turn the shit off. There. Should be chill now. Oh wait, I think that's making it rise even more, because now it has no out. Okay, so there's a broken pipe. Alright, I did that correctly. Let's put this one on. Oh man. Well that didn't work. Use pipe on bypass pipe? I can't see where you want the fucking pipes to Oh, man. Okay. This pipe is too short. Okay. Well, that didn't work. The fuck is a different pipe? I'm so fucking dead. <laughs> Pipe's too short. Is that meter still going up? Oh! Oh! Meow! Now I turn it back on. Save Stephanie. Save baby. There ain't no babies. I did solve that pretty quick. Well, that didn't work. <laughs> the, the amount of times this game tells you something doesn't work where it's supposed to work. It's not like I wasn't clicking in the wrong place. Sometimes it'll, like, I, I didn't even move the cursor. Sometimes it'll just be like, no, nah, no, that doesn't fucking work. You need to spam. <laughs> I like all the fighting at the end. So I got a little blood dribble from uh, earlier before. Wait, is this the room from Star Wars and New Hope? <laughs> Turbine scream of the high pitched whine. That's the best Star Wars, by the way. Yes, better than Empire Strikes Back. That's my honest opinion. They only get worse after New Hope. Updates on the war in Ukraine as Russia shells Kharkiv? There's a war in Ukraine? That sucks. Hot molten lava has melted this section of the floor. Good thing I have these wooden fucking pads. You know what? I want to see what happens when you die here. Sort of give us your best I'm on fire face and by golly he did it. I 
Oh no, cringe. Alright, give me this shit. Bonk. Bonk. What's that noise? Are they on fire? Oh yeah, looks like they're about to... Oh yeah, they're about to die. <laughs> but not me. must have to put something uh, on these two spots here. Concrete pedestal. Oh, the flagpoles! The fucking flagpoles I have! Uh, oh god! I'm not gonna make it. No way it's too late. Is that actually what happened? Did I just do it too late? <laughs> that doesn't make any fucking sense. Alright, well, it's probably gonna work now, I guess. need to go for a run. Cool beans, baby. Absolutely harvested. I get to eat dinner tonight. I'm excited. <laughs> I deprived myself of dinner yesterday, but it was worth it. I lost 30 pounds, baby! I've lost 30 pounds in less than two months. Let's fucking go. Feels good. Now I'm gonna try and lose 30 more. No, I haven't drank since that one stream. In the past two months I drank uh, the Elden Ring finale weekend. Just that one time. That was a bad idea too, because I drank. And it like reset all my blood pressure progress. One time! I hadn't drank in 35 days and I was like, oh, I can reward myself with some beer this weekend. And it, like, reset my blood pressure. Kind of upsetting. Alright, this should be near the end. No, I, I don't think I can ever be skinny. Don't get me wrong, I've lost 30 pounds. I'm still a fat, ugly fuck. I got 30 more to go, at the very least. I can do it, though. You guys should try my diet. It's proven. It works. Boiled eggs and vegetables. <laughs> Boiled eggs, vegetables, and rice is all I've been eating. I'm it's so I'm so glad I'm not a picky eater, because the diet is the easiest part of this. The diet has been the very easiest part for me because I like eating rabbit food. It's like whatever. <laughs> my gym music, women screaming and crying. <laughs> Door is locked from the other side.
This is the temple of the mystery of abstinence. Do not eat of the food or you will be punished. All within are hereby bound to a vow of abstinence. Operate the hamburger? Uh-oh. Door is locked. This is the temple of... You obey well, Initiate. Better than your brethren. They have eaten and grown stronger for it. As promised, I will not punish you for your obedience. But they will. Die, former me! Alright. You obey well, Initiate. Decorative plastic ficus. Thanks for being nice and letting me off the hook. Holy shit, that guy shoots fast. Hmm, no. I'm going to kill again. I'm not leaving until I kill that man in the suit. This is the temp- Damn, he hits like a fucking truck. How did he kill me this time? He didn't even touch me last time. Fat boy got hands. This is the temple of the. Gotta wait for him to finish the burgers. I tried clicking on the burgers last time, but nothing. I think I was too late. I think I was at the very last second. Yeah, I clicked like here, and then the burgers were just gone. You obey well, Initiate. Better than your brethren. Burger power. <laughs> Damn, he actually got a fucking hit in. Alright. How much health do I have? Oh, I'm dying. Time for a sandwich. Do you mind if I eat this sandwich right in front of you, even though you just told me not to eat any burgers? Uh. You obey well, Initiate. <laughs> well, you say so. <laughs> I don't I mean, I just... <laughs> he says this is the level of abstinence. <laughs> I just eat it. Fucking sandwich right in front of him. Die. Glowy. That probably wasn't worth it. I want to keep the shells. He seems like a chill dude. He can live despite being a glowy. And some mothers complain that their children don't come to see them. You're so good. You're so good. Those are little Steves. Shocked. This is the mist of motherly love. Everyone says motherhood is fulfilling, when in reality, it's draining. Isn't that cynical? I see what you mean. You don't know the half of it. Ow. That made my, the start, that made my gums feel funny. Children are parasites. That's what you've got to understand. Sucking the life out of you. Your very life's blood pumping from your belly through obscene pink tubes into their thieving hearts. And even after birth, they keep leeching the life from you. Of course, my children are better at it than most. Is that the bliss of motherhood? 
That's the mystery. Just what the world needs. More greedy little mouths to feed. Children suck the life out of society. They have to be protected, nurtured. Everything has to be childproof and rendered childish. Sadly, they'll suck the life out of you too. You too. Speaking of afterbirth, time for a late term abortion. I accidentally unequipped the scythe, but I kind of like punching them better. Come on, you little fuckers. <laughs> say after that? Damn, that kid gave me a wallop. You don't have nothing to say? Alright. Welcome to the Temple of the Mystery of Religion. The mystery is thus. Those who preach love and mercy in God's name are often those who call for the death of heathens. Do you believe in God, my son? No. Heretic! You have not seen the light, my son. You... But we shall open your eyes, even if we must shut them first. Oh, I thought he was coming right at Oh, they were coming right at me. All right, well. Cool. I solved this room's puzzle. Quite sure what which way did I come in? Well, I guess I'll take this one. Oh wait, I want to look at the cows first. It's another part of my diet that's easy to follow. Drink lots of fluid. No sugary drinks. Water is your need from the store. Oh yeah, I wanted to get a pineapple. Man, you guys know, or maybe, <laughs> uh, that I, I'm not good with sweets. I don't like eat a lot of sweet stuff. But like, I'll eat fruit, right? That's, that's about as sweet as it gets for me. I ate a whole mango today thinking, yeah, that's light. I ate a whole mango today like, oh yeah, whatever, it's a piece of fruit. Let's go, this will be great. That should put me to sleep. <laughs> I, I ate a whole mango, and by the time I got through half of it, I was like, that's a lot of sugar. <laughs> I had to fucking zonk out. Oh. Are you freaking kidding me? 
Are you freaking kidding me right now? It's me, Stu. Here to review an onion. I guess I'll go into that one. Poor woman has been viciously disemboweled. Ashes of a campfire. This game doesn't make no sense. Nicely framed Medal of Honor. Rotting remains of two children. What do you want here? I'm just passing through. You think it's that simple, huh? Just passing through? Well, my family was just sitting around. And look where it got them. What is this? The temple of the mystery of morality. I don't know if it's My country mysterious. paid me to kill. And then when I came home, I was out of a job. They expected me to stop? Cold turkey? Is that what they wanted? A paycheck today, jail cell tomorrow? Am I a criminal or an entrepreneur? Hey, let's find out. Don't shoot me. I think the frame rate or something is making things go insane. I don't think this game is used to like running at the frame rate it's at or something. I'm, by the way, I think I'm about to die. Oh, yeah. I ain't feeling too good. Thank you for your service, indeed. I need to find a sandwich somewhere. <laughs> Range Rider... Hey, he spe they spelt Range Rider wrong. Range Rider's Cowboy Roundup reruns. about to die. Mr. Potsdam! Welcome to the temple of the mystery of flesh, Steve. Have a bite? Mr. Potsdam? The mystery is this. Sometimes you have to lose some meat to get some meat. They wouldn't let me in until I demonstrated my worthiness. My invitation came so Potsdam after isn't I in buried on it. Kara He's just trying to get into the lodge. That showed initiative. And her spinal cord was your ticket in, right? Yes, but to be initiated into the mysteries of the harvest, I had to do one last thing. I let them into the house and into Stephanie's bedroom. My God, you do that to your own daughter? Was that her on the bed or is she alive? Sorry, that's not my department. Now I am a butcher. You should have gotten your dad to hire me on. That way, you could have been the boss, instead of the prime cut! This is just how I remember Silent Hill 2. Eddie, put down the hooks. This guy's about to fucking kill me. <laughs> I don't think the scythe is the best option for that part of the game. This is good, though. I get to redo the fight with, uh... This, uh, name, this, uh, Vietnam veteran. Yeah, nail gun is right. That's a good... What do you want here? I'm just passing. You killed your family? What of it? My country pay... Hold on. Alright, let's do nail gun. Good shit. Good shit. Alright. Oh yeah, we're chill. We got a little dribble from those kids punching us in the gut, but that's fine. Damn, nail gun's pretty fucking good. Mm, how many shotgun shells do we have? Oh yeah, let's do that for Mr. Potsdam. <laughs> the Pots got shots. What's 
Welcome to the tip, Mr. P the Mr. P and her. Yes. Sorry. Now I am a butcher. You should have gotten your dad to hire me on. That way, you could have been the boss instead of the prime cut. Very interesting, Eddie. How compelling. Please face the wall. actual cattle in the game. They weren't funnin'. Alright, I guess Mr. Potsdam is dead. Pots got shots. Get the frick out of here. Time to save my beloved. Hello, handsome. Looking for a good time at a reasonable price? Sure. I'd love to get it on with the ladies. With a bunch of skanky whores? No way. Alright, that'll be $200. Huh? <gasps> Alright, honey. One of the ladies will be right with you. I have 200 bucks. <sighs> Thanks for stopping by, stud. You shouldn't have picked Crystal, though. She hasn't been feeling well. I'd be sure to get to a doctor if I were you. These diseases can have pretty horrible effects, you know. Without further interruption, let's celebrate and suck some dick. Do I actually have syphilis or something now? <laughs> oh no. Why are you saying don't save? Am I actually on a timer now? <laughs> $200. Yeah, you're right. I should get my money back. What'd that say? I feel the pain from syphilis in my balls? Oh, no! Let's get the fuck out of here. Learned my lesson, don't trust women. This game was ahead of its time. Hello, he Scorn mixed with desire, that's our lot. Such is the mystery of lust. So often the instruments of lust, as all instruments of higher pleasure, are condemned as frequently as they are sought after. I'd go on about the hypocrisy of a hedophobic society, but I think I'd rather just kill me a man. Come get it. Come on, bitch. <laughs> yeah, what about you? Don't make her do all the work. This is a threesome after all. Erotic art. Black as a moonless night. 
Look into my eyes, deep pools of desire. Look at my complexion, pale white and glistening. Uh, you're not that hot. Get over it, toots. Right. You bastard! Yeah, we're good. I solved this room's puzzle too. I'm just banging these out, man. Save this one over. I love women. <laughs> All right. Welcome, Initiate, to the Temple of the Mystery of Pain. The mystery is thus the simple manipulation of nerves may break one man and yet leave another unmoved. Is that really how long that loop is? The physiology is the same. All nerves sing alike. Yet the result's different. Yes, it is. The question can only be answered by paradox. Although the body functions according to the tenets of science, the invocation of pain is an art. My implements are simple things, like a painter's brushes, from which beautiful complexities spring. Different stories brought forth from different canvases, with the different application of a stroke. I invite you now to torture this man on the table to explore this blessed mystery yourself. Otherwise, I'll have to teach you the lesson myself. Well, it's a good thing I have this sex dungeon toy. Okay? Okay? Well, that didn't work. Okay? Maybe I'll just equip it. He likes it. The game's frozen. <laughs> yeah, everything's stuck again for some reason. I, I don't know why. Fucking slaves! Get your ass back here! This guy won't talk to me. try and kill him anyway, so that's fine, I guess. Well, you know I gotta kill this guy, too. Welcome to the temple of the mystery of charity. It's what Loomis! Is there in charity, <laughs> for God's sake. The mystery is the Any act of charity is an act of selfishness. For in any charity <laughs> The guy playing Loomis wasn't acting, it's just how he really sounds. always left the poorer. <laughs> the giver is not poor. He receives a great feeling from giving. A feeling? discouraging answer initiate you see though I am needy I do not consider myself a beggar so much as a taker I require charity initiate 
give me something. Mm. I don't have Charity it. is a loathsome lie. The only gift that keeps on giving is death. Uh, I think he just pulled out a fucking gun. No, nope. <gasps> but I did. <clears throat> I'm wasting my ammo on this slouch. Maybe I should just waste my ammo on it. Before I was like, damn, why are they giving me so much ammo? I think I see now. Oh, Jesus, final boss. This is the temple of the mystery and mercy. You're just in time for our little retirement ceremony. As part of your initiation, you'll be required to execute them. That's how all these people are disposed of at the lodge. And each member is expected to do his share. Should be pretty easy. <laughs> They're weak, but by retiring them, you advance yourself. Hold. They're begging you for mercy. Do you grant it? No. Then finish them. Initiate. Thus is the mystery of mercy. Life is a competition, and mercy a perversion of the natural order. When you extend mercy to a competitor, you give him a second chance to beat you. What? I'm just gonna kill these old people. <laughs> Killing the gladiator? That guy will kick my ass. I solved the puzzle. Oh, um, okay, cool. Thanks for making me go through all this again. He called it tripe. Check to see if there's anything I miss. This puzzle was easy. Oh, I can't get past this guy now. Well, okay, well, see ya. Now's a good time. Hold on a second. Before we beat this game. Now's a good time. <laughs> For me to make 80 bucks. You guys want to see something cool? Oh, Jesus, never mind. What is this? What's the name of this, this stream called? Finishing up Harvester. Here we go, kid. I hate how they make you rewrite the stream when you do this. Okay, uh, Jurassic Park movie's coming out. Uh, here we go. Check this out. Hold on. Here it is. Awesome. Go! I'm so low. Maybe that's impossible. 
turn this shit up, girl. You live just like your mother. Why did they make him just be able to talk to all the dinosaurs? Genetic power has now been unleashed. We made a terrible mistake. The doomsday clock might be about out of time. Look, he's just talking to them. It's Jedi mind tricking them. I was about to say, the big ones look like they're not even doing anything. If our world's gonna survive, what matters is what we do now. I can use your expertise. <laughs> you coming or what? A baby raptor? I made a promise we would bring her home. You made a promise to a dinosaur. Yeah. What? Hey, look, the new Big Bad Theropods are jigging out of source. That's pretty cool. Could have been a Carl Carl Dantosaurus, but they moved Giganotosaurus instead. I don't know why. That can't be right. What is that? Oh look, big animatron. Or the world is ever seen. Run! See? Not so bad. Alright, well, there was that. I got $80 out of that. It's pretty fucking epic. We put everything back to the way it's supposed to fucking be now. Also, coming up... It's a it's a good month for dinosaur stuff. There was also a... Uh, I'm not getting paid for this one, but there's another dinosaur thing that I, was, I saw recently. This. Zito. ね、Dimetrodon on a train, dude! New wife. <laughs> Two stupid idiots. I don't know, that looks wild. Anyway, back to Harvester. I gotta change my thing from just chatting because I always change it. I'm not just chatting, I'm playing a harvester. Yeah, so there's that anime is coming out, Jurassic. Um, uh, then, of course, that Jurassic Park. And then um, the David Attenborough thing. Dinosaurs are back, baby. David Attenborough's Prehistoric Planet's coming out. <clears throat> That's what I'm most excited for. Don't, 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 don't tell Universal I said that, though. They'll take my $80 away. This is obviously the final boss. This guy is a little insane. <laughs> this room's puzzle is a little difficult. How many shotguns? Oh, you know what? Mm, maybe the... No, not the chainsaw. Yeah, let's just fuck him up with the shotgun. Jesus Christ.
Christ. I think this is the final boss. Oh no, why is it so loud? What? <laughs> is this too hard? <laughs> How do you do this? do I have? Oh, only two? I gotta shoot just at the right time, but the moment this guy, the moment you can shoot him, he starts shooting. <gasps> Jesus! What the fuck, man? <laughs> this is like RNG. <laughs> Purely. What the fuck do you do here? Searching the body, you find an ancient sword. Maybe this will fare better? I don't know. <laughs> Maybe the sword one-shots him or something? Great, one shot and I'm dead. <laughs> Impossible. Do I not have enough health for this? Huh. I think I might not actually have enough health. Let's see if the chainsaw works. You know what? I bet the chainsaw will work. Check this out. Watch this. I'm about to fuck this guy up. God his ass! Let's go! Okay, that's that's not okay. Okay, we have to shoot the robot. There's there is a key for every scenario. This puzzle's a little difficult, but I have the keys. Excuse me. Okay. Chainsaw first. <laughs> it's I didn't get close enough. <laughs> I didn't get close enough. I thought I was close enough. Excuse me, Mr. Man. All right. Chainsaw. There we go, that should be perfect. <laughs> Fuck! Whoa, 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 Fucking hard. <laughs> Shit on a sticker room. That's mighty nice. Got a ski down. Happy trails, buckaroo. Violence is entertainment. I just put it on. I feel like this game's trying to tell me something. Welcome to the Inner Sanctum, big guy. Oh, no. Harold. It's time for quality Within time. Within the Inner Sanctum, you will address me as Vice Muck Harold, second in command to the Grand Muckety Muck. He of the Fez and Buffalo Ham, the secret handshake, the funny passwords. Only fitting, given that my role has always been that of an educator, and Harvest is one big classroom. What do you mean? You'll have to kill me to find out what he means, big guy. Okay. I mean, that's pretty simple. Oh! 
This puzzle's a little tough. <laughs> I, I, was, <laughs> I was gonna go in my inventory and pick the perfect means of execution. I'm going scythe for this one. Welcome to the inner Prince. With it. What do you mean? Okay, well. Looks like we're going chainsaw again. I don't think the scythe is as good as previously thought. How much of this do I have? Four shots? More than enough to kill anything that moves. Welcome to the inner sight. With what do you mean? <laughs> Stephanie. This is always a great moment when the initiate passes over the threshold and becomes a brother. Stephanie. He was gonna say Stephanie again. Man, I'm, I need to go for a run. It's getting too late. Hurry up, game. <laughs> I'm going anywhere for my run. It's pouring out now. This is nothing more than a virtual reality designed by the harvesters to test potential members. Having successfully completed the program, you have earned the right to become a harvester. He looks like he's getting a mediocre hand job. What the hell is a harvester? what he said. This entire reality has been engineered to break down your resistance, to desensitize you to violence. Now I feel like this game's trying to tell us something. Harvester and re-enter the real world or stay in peace with young Stephanie and spend the rest of 
of your life in the construct known as Harvest. What is the real world at this point? What? Right now, you are suspended in a sensory deprivation tank, wired to a VR tech. If you don't join us, we will terminate your life support, and you will be dead within minutes. Those last minutes, however, will seem like a lifetime lived in harvest. You will marry Stephanie and die peacefully of old age. You're presuming a lot. <laughs> Aside from you, she is the only real person in harvest, suspended in a tank, jacked in just as you are. I assume you'll want to spend time together. If I stay. Of course, having completed your ordeal, you may leave with her as you intended and enjoy your victory. If, on the other hand, you wish to join us, the cost of exiting the Lodge is the same as the cost of entering the Lodge. A skull and spinal cord. Hers. Well... Oh, yikes, get away from me. You couldn't kill me. These harvesters... They put people through this torture to give them a taste for killing. The way to beat them is to deny them. To live out your life here. With me. You're thinking about killing me, aren't you? Didn't you hear what he said? I do exist. If you kill me here, I'll die for real. And I'll feel all the pain, all the terror, because I'm real. Well, after all... What's a murder without pain and terror? We will feed the pain impulses directly <laughs> into our brain. Pull the part out. Slug, you will be a murderer this time for real. So what will it be? Life in harvest or life as a harvester? Wait a minute. Which one lets me get out of the tank? I don't want to be in the virtual reality anymore. That's this one. Yeah, sorry, Stephanie, but I basically just met you. Please help me. Steve, don't do this. Please. No. No, please, somebody help me. No. Can I save here? What if I attack him? Oh shit. It's actually a pretty cool story. Let's go. <laughs> it's the Kid Kistler origin story. Where are you going? 
nowhere. Nowhere at all. <laughs> and then he went on 4chan. Harvester. That thing? I looked at it the other day. The very thought. Eating serial killers. It's disgusting. It's cool. <laughs> you rot your mind playing games like that. Don't you know people who watch violence become violent themselves? That's bullshit, Mom. No, it isn't. Why do you think they started cutting the violence out of those Roadrunner cartoons? Roadrunner cartoon? <laughs> the Roadrunner cartoon? <laughs> <laughs> Harvester. Without further interruption, let's celebrate and suck some dick. Um. Okay. Realistically, I love that game. I don't know if I can go so far as to say it's one of my favorite games of all time, but it's up there. That was a really fun game, and I enjoyed streaming it. That was great. I didn't expect this game to be that good, but it was genuinely entertaining and fun. Like, I actually enjoyed, like, doing the puzzles and figuring out what goes where and shit like that. I liked the acting. All the acting was really funny. Like, this is just a good game. This isn't even a bad game. You want me to reload the save and marry Stephanie? Uh, all right. Yeah, I will check out more point-and-click games. This game's fun as shit. Whoops. All right, let's go uh, marry Stephanie. Welcome to I the guess. Inner sanctum, big guy. With it. What do you mean? <laughs> it's a game <laughs> commenting on how parents think that video games make killers they made a game in the 90s about video games making killers about actually training people to become serial killers that's fucking based. This is great. What is the point of the doll? What does the doll have to do with anything? Is it my innocence? Is the doll? Oh, yeah. You said it right when I said it. Oh, yeah. You can hear my rain. It's pretty fucking loud out. Yeah, it sucks. I needed to go for a run and I wanted to go up to the store and get some goodies, but... Looks like I'm not going to now. I don't have a problem running in the rain, but... You're out of your fucking mind if you think that at nighttime when it's raining I'm gonna open my front door in Florida. You know how many fucking bugs would come running in? Oh, whoops. I skipped. This entire reality has been engineered. Okay, let's marry Stephanie.
Wow, he looks so good. <laughs> this is stupid. was better. That ending's not that great. I like the other ending more. The one where I uh, become a fucking crazy serial killer. Why did he... What was the finger with the ring on it that was in his stomach? It... What was it? Was it from the lady in the car? Uh, uh, okay. Thought maybe it melt like or meant like something else. Literally fingers. Alright, well, it's 8.35. I should probably make dinner. I get to have dinner tonight. Do a quick workout. That was fun, though. I had a great time with this game. We will probably revisit this game again someday in the future when I'm piss blackout drunk and I forget all the puzzles and I'll be like trust me this game is really good for all the new people who have no idea what it is that was good though I had a good time with that hey thanks for showing up uh, another game beaten I don't know what game we'll do next I have Resident Evil F Village to do I might start that up next I don't know I don't know, we have that. You know, I just, might as well, I have, I reinstalled Final Fantasy, we might as well just finish it. Got like one or two sessions left in it. If I can remember how to play. Alright, that's it for me. You guys have a good one. I'm out. Thanks for showing up. Bye bye. Hey. I just want to say. Goodbye. Goodbye to the people who hated on me. Goodbye to the people who loved me. Goodbye to the people who trusted me. Goodbye, goodbye to everybody. Goodbye to the people who hated on me. Goodbye to the people who loved me. Goodbye to the people who trusted me. Goodbye, goodbye to everybody. Now I need some changes in my life Now I need to move on in life Now it's time to say goodbye Goodbye, goodbye to everybody Goodbye to the people who hated on me Goodbye to the people who loved me Goodbye to the people who trusted me 